The story begins when a heroic alien pursues a monster to Earth. Unintentionally, the alien kills a guy. Feeling a little guilty and needing to make amends for the accident, the alien gives his life force to the man, and that man becomes Ultraman. <laughs> Debuting in 1966, Ultraman became a sensation worldwide, and some of the stories of this hero were written by an Okinawan man, Tetsuo Kinjo. Though the tales were primarily directed at children, they held all the grandeur and scope of classical drama. Focusing on morals, Mr. Kinjo created situations where the hero could shine in the face of stunning adversity. Much more than aliens and monsters, the interplay of the characters highlighted universal qualities like perseverance, empathy, and wisdom for the greater good. Much of the tales took historical incidents and redefined them for the screen. Albeit with a 35,000 ton alien-human hybrid from another galaxy, Mr. Kinjo made it his goal to become a bridge between Okinawa and Japan, and much of this had been accomplished. Tragically, Mr. Kinjo passed early in his life, but his story and legacies are still with us, as even today, the series continues. If you'd like to find out more, visit mccsokinawa.com. Pick up copies of the Okinawa Living Magazine and Okinawa Living Weekly. Follow MCCS on Facebook and subscribe to the MCCS TV on Okinawa YouTube channel. Reporting for MCCS TV's Hi Sai, I'm Gabriel Archer.